Good morning. It's uh, been a while since I've uh, sent all of you uh, uh, love letters from Glazer Financial Network. Uh, we now have, as of March 11th, 14th of 2011, a new amnesty program put out by our wonderful U.S. government. Uh, I think that uh, this is a prelude to potential criminal prosecution of people who ignore uh, reporting and coming forward on a voluntary disclosure situation. Although I must say that uh, the, uh, the, the results of what's going to happen uh, is pretty disastrous. We're talking about having to voluntarily disclose, no soft disclosures, uh, eight years of information. This program really is the prelude to uh, criminal prosecution for people who fail to report uh, uh, tax income, uh, foreign income, fail to report uh, having uh, trust, foreign trust, foreign corporations, foreign partnerships, uh, foreign accounts, and uh, uh, my recommendation to everybody, even though this could be disastrous, is to come forward uh, and, and make a voluntary disclosure. Um, criminal prosecution is a very expensive situation. Uh, our uh, uh, tax attorneys, the big guys who really handle some of these more serious situations, are uh, going to be, are very expensive, very expensive. Uh, everything needs to be reviewed and determined before you make uh, a final decision. Sometimes, uh, if you have been led astray by your professional, uh, then you do have a potential of reducing these penalties down to 5%, uh, instead of 25% on all income, uh, all accounts over seventy-five thousand, and twelve and a half percent on any accounts under that. Uh, uh, so, if you have been led astray, where people have said, "Don't worry about it." Now, of course, uh, in our practice, we have about three thousand clients. We do a few thousand tax returns. Uh, uh, in some recent cases that we are representing, uh, I thought I'd never hear it, but. Uh, uh, where accountants have told people, hey, they're taking care of it, don't worry about it, and then tax returns haven't been filed for as many as eight or 10 years. Uh, these are dangerous situations on one hand. On the other hand, if your professional has messed up, then of course uh, they are responsible for what's going on. Interestingly, um, penalties like for failure to file 3520 which is uh, foreign trust or foreign gifts or transferring of properties from a United States person to a foreign trust uh, is actually 35% of the gross reportable amount uh, except for returns reporting gifts where the penalty is 5% up to a maximum penalty of 25%. The, these penalties uh, are exceptionally large when you figure out it's for eight years. Uh, same thing with 3520As, uh, where the penalty is 5%. Uh, penalties for failing to file Form 5471 is $10,000, with a, an additional $10,000 added for each month the failure continues, with a total uh, delinquency amount of $50,000 per return. So you can just figure if you had eight years that you hadn't filed, that could be as much as $400,000, plus penalties and interest, additional penalties and interest. 5472 uh, is when you own a foreign corporation, when you own more than 25%, and those penalties are the same as I mentioned, 10,000, and then 10,000 added for each month for failure. Uh, Form 926, uh, transfer of property to a foreign corporation, that penalty is up to a max, is 10% up to a maximum of 100,000. Uh, 8865, uh, foreign partnerships, it's 10,000 for each return. Uh, 
to the maximum up to fifty thousand, um, and it, it could gets more and more uh, expensive. Uh, fraud penalties imposed under uh, uh, the IRS code, uh, a failure to file a tax return is due to fraud. Uh, the taxpayer is liable for penalties up to 75% of the unpaid tax. So as you can see, it, the sooner you come forward, the, the more reasonable, if you can call it reasonable, things are happening. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's better to cut it off. An accuracy-related penalty on underpayments imposed under 6662 uh, could be liable for a 20 to 40 percent penalty. Possible criminal charges related to tax return include uh, include ta uh, including uh, tax evasion, filing a false return, failure to file an income tax return, willfully failing to file an uh, FBAR, which is a TDF 90 bank accounts and investment accounts uh, uh, are subject to criminal penalties. I don't, I don't want to scare everybody, it scares me to think about it, but every time I look at these things I can't believe the amount of money we're talking about. Uh, our recommendation is we do a free analysis in regards to taking a look at a situation and then making a determination of what we think needs to be done. In all cases we believe that people need to become compliant we believe that uh, we, we need to come compliant. I know if you could lose a lot of money, maybe the entire amount that you have sheltered in the foreign country, foreign corporation, foreign in, uh, real estate, whatever it might be. But I think the IRS is serious. They had such a good response uh, from their first situation with the UBS in Switzerland that they've now gone after H. SBC, I believe, in India, uh, where they've got uh, maybe another five to 10,000 taxpayers who have foreign accounts that haven't been reported. The IRS has hired 40,000 new uh, IRS agents. Uh, we have confirmation that uh, the IRS is concentrating on bank transfers, and they are looking to uh, uh, really bring in a lot of money to the treasury. This, this is huge. The bigger the client, of course, the, uh, I assume like anything, they're gonna start at the top. They have agents in the banks, so they know every transfer. Do not do anything that you think uh, can be hidden because that is like tax evasion if you're trying to hide your assets or you're trying to transfer assets. Try to be straight and forward. Uh, we'll be glad to give consultation. If we feel we're in a situation that we can't defend, uh, then I, we, of course, refer you to one of our uh, large tax attorneys. Uh, I, mean, I mean large, but uh, uh, really high-powered tax attorneys, which I recommend that people need to get if, if they have large amounts that haven't been uh, reported. Uh, I, I want to say that... Uh, the amount of uh, non-disclosure is significant, and uh, it, although you might have had, you know, years and years of putting this money aside, yeah, you need to file. You just can't ignore it. Uh, also, going into the future, if you're buying real estate, there is something in the Higher Act, uh, which is another new provision that says that if you transfer money to a non-registered bank, or let's say a developer who, who just puts it in some local bank in Uruguay or Costa Rica or wherever, the government is going to withhold 30%. Uh, uh, so you need to be doing tax planning. Every one of our clients uh, knows what their tax is before the end of the year. So what that means is you can do planning. So if you are sending it to a developer in Costa Rica or Belize or wherever it might be, then we can do planning so we don't withhold money or we don't pay in estimates because we already have it paid in. My recommendation is to try to make sure that whoever you're dealing with uses a title company or a bank like Scotia Bank or First American Title or whatever so that you can avoid these withholding taxes. 
because you're going to have to put away an, an extra 30 percent. Uh, our firm is very, very versed in foreign transactions. Uh, I'm not an attorney. None of my staff are attorneys, but we work with several international tax attorneys, one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast, one in Dallas, and uh, uh, got some other contacts. Uh, but I sure as heck, the way we work, uh, I feel like we, you all have a better opportunity to solving your problem with the least amount of cost. Please give me a call at 800-999-8931 or 972-385-0007 or even my cell phone, uh, 469-358-2818 or email me at mglazer, G-L-A-Z-E-R, at glazer, G-L-A-Z-E-R, financial.com uh, and uh, I'm available pretty much uh, on a regular basis. Please give me a call. Let's discuss the issue and let me know what the situation is and we will try to help you at least sort out what you need to be doing and who you need to be talking to. Um, I will be writing a report uh, on this Amnesty Act over the next several days which will give you specifics on what these penalties are, maybe some illustrations, and I should have that ready in the next, uh, hopefully in the next uh, week. And if you want a free copy, please, uh, again, email us at mglazer, G-L-A-Z-E-R, at glazerfinancial.com. Also, please look at our website, www.glazerfinancial.com. Anyway, all of you have a good day. Don't be... Uh, uh, so upset that you ignore my message. This is very, very important. And also, if you're not re filing tax returns, uh, please come forward and let's get you caught up. Uh, IRS, I, IRS Audit Force is out there. They're looking at returns very closely. They are going after people who haven't filed. And my recommendation is, is that, again, you get caught up. Uh, even if you don't have foreign transactions, it's extremely important. IRS is digging back in the files, making assessments based on 1099s and W-2s. So uh, we, need to, we need to become compliant. Please let me know what the situation is, and we are here to help you. Uh, better us than getting a knock on the door. So please, come forward and let, let, let me help determine where you're at and what you need to be doing. I look forward to serving you. And again, telephone number 972-385-0007 or my email mglazer, G-L-A-Z-E-R, at glazerfinancial.com. Have a good day.